Hello, dear classmates. Welcome to the VLSI testing class. In this chapter, we are going to introduce a very important component: logic simulation. This is our course roadmap. Before we actually learn the concept about test generation, we need to learn the basic building block, which is logic simulation. From this course roadmap, you can see that logic simulation provides essential knowledge for force simulation and also ATPG. So why am I learning this? Logic simulation is essential for two purposes. The first purpose is to verify the correctness of our design. The second purpose is to verify our ATPG patterns. Logic simulator is a very important basic building block for EDA tools. In this chapter. We have an interesting quotation from John Locke. He said that logic is the anatomy of thought. I think this is a very interesting quotation, suitable for this chapter. Only if we have a good logic simulator, then we can analyze our design accurately. In the chapter of logic simulation. We divide this chapter into five sections. First, we will give a short introduction, followed by simulation models, and then we will introduce several logic simulation techniques, and we will discuss some issues for logic simulation. Finally, we conclude this chapter. So, what is a simulator? Given input stimuli and the models for your object under simulation, and the simulation commands, we run a piece of software to produce our output response. This is what we call a simulation. This is true not only for circuit simulation, but also for other kinds of simulation. In particular, for digital circuit simulation, input stimuli here are often test patterns. And in the case of digital circuit simulation, the models can be either functional model, or logic model, or transistor level model. Based on the detail of our model, we can characterize. Circuit simulation into four levels. The first level, functional level simulation. In this simulation, circuits are represented as interconnect of modules. This is good for architecture and the functional verification of the circuit. This simulation is very fast, but it can be inaccurate. For example. C simulation, system C simulation, and very log RTL level simulation belong to this category. The second level simulation is logic level simulation, which is also the focus of this chapter. In this simulation, circuits are represented as interconnect of Boolean gates. We also call them. Gate level analysis. This is good for logic verification and the test pattern generation. For example, gate level very log simulation belong to this category. The third level of simulation is transistor level simulation. In this level, circuits are represented as interconnect of transistors. This simulation. Is good for analog mixed signal and the timing critical digital circuits. This simulation is very slow, but the resolution is very accurate. Typical examples are well-known spice simulations. 
and uh, the last level mixed level simulation in this level of simulation circuit can be represented as mixed functional logic or transistor level models this is a trade-off between CPU time and the simulation accuracy this flowchart shows a typical verification by simulation flow given a specification we design our circuit and uh, we translate it into circuit description either RTL or gate level on the other side we also develop test bench and uh, we also develop input stimuli which are test patterns and we run logic simulation to obtain simulation responses we compare the simulation responses with expected response and see if they are the same or not if they are the same then we are done with our verification if they are not the same then we need to debug our design or debug our test bench this flow is typically the same for manual verification or automatic verification the only difference is that whether the test bench and the input stimuli are generated manually or automatically so we mentioned test bench in our previous slide so what exactly is a test bench the test bench sets up a simulation environment for the simulator the test bench apply input stimuli which is test patterns in the case for digital circuit and the test bench also runs a set of commands the test bench observe the simulation response and compare them with the expected responses if they are the same the design pass the test if they are not the same the design fail the test so a test bench does everything included in this blue box please know that the test bench is actually not implemented as a physical silicon only the circuit itself will be implemented as a silicon the test bench are not actually implemented in summary in this video we have introduced the logic simulation technique a simulator produces output based on given input stimuli and the given circuit model we have introduced four levels of simulation they are functional level logic level transistor level and the mixed level we also show design verification flow by simulation where test benches set up simulation environment for our verification they can be generated automatically or manually this is the end of this video thank you